Hello, and today we'll be covering T 6.3b. Let's go. Which statement is true for the answer 10 times one half? Okay, step one, we're gonna determine if the fraction is proper or Im improper fraction. When we multiply a number by a proper fraction, then our values will decrease. When we multiply a number by a improper fraction, then our values will increase. And we will also use the true-false method to justify our answer. Okay, so let's determine if the fraction is improper or proper. All right, so is one half an improper fraction or a proper fraction? When we look at it, our numerator is less than our denominator, which makes it a proper fraction. Now, let's think about it. By looking at our rules, we know that a proper fraction, our value will decrease. So 10 times one half will be less than 10. Now, how do we multiply fractions like this? First, we'll convert the whole number to a fraction by putting a one in the denominator and leaving 10 in the numerator. Then we will cross multiply one half. So 10 times one gives us 10, one times two gives us two, this gives us 10 over two, and when we simplify 10 over two, we're left with five over one. Whenever we have a one in our denominator, we know that our whole number, I mean, we know that our fraction is equivalent to a whole number, which is five. Five is our simplest form. Now, let's eliminate our answer choices by using the true false method. The answer will be less than 10 because one half is less than one true. The answer will be less than 10 because one half is greater than one. False. The answer will be greater than 10 because one half is less than one. False. Indeed, the answer will be greater than 10 because one half is greater than one. False. Y'all, this is a very simple and easy problem if you follow the strategies and use your cube strategies. Thank you once again. I'll see you at the next video. Uh, good luck, man. Have a great day. Thank you.